I'm thinking about the old man. I'm thinking about the cracking of his joints as he runs. I'm thinking of the terror in his ancient, atrophied heart. This is his building, you see. This is the place where he was safe. Now the blind glass and the dispassionate metal mocks him with his own reflection, frightened and small and scurrying like a beetle in a box, like a worm in a maze. Of course, there's never been any real evidence of the swamp thing intentionally hurting or killing anyone. The old man shouldn't be in any real danger at all. As long as the creature hasn't read my notes. But if he has read my notes. You see, throughout his miserable existence, the only thing that could have kept him sane was the hope that he might one day regain his humanity. The knowledge that under all that slime he was still Alec Holland. But if he's read my notes, you'll know that just isn't true. He isn't Alec Holland. He never will be Alec Holland. He never was Alec Holland. He's just a ghost. A ghost dressed in weeds. I wonder how he'll take that. And I wonder how the old man will take it when the doors won't open. He'll pound, he'll hammer, he'll wheeze and he'll scream and he will not be able to comprehend how this could be happening to him, the old reptile. And will there be blood? I don't know. I don't know if there will be blood. It isn't important. It won't spoil things if there is no blood. The blood doesn't matter. Just the dying. The dying is all that matters. And what then? Where would the creature go then? I have to know. I have to follow him. There's so much to learn, so much to know. Where would I go if I were the swamp thing? I go back to Louisiana. Back to the mud and the steam and the flies. Back to the bayou. Back home. It's dark. It's late. I have a lot to do tomorrow. No matter. For the moment, I am content simply to think. And to plan. And to listen. It's raining in Washington.